Okay, guys, if you can just gather around quickly uh, for me here, please. Uh, it is time for me to announce our leadership group for the season. Uh, now, that means, of course, appointing my first Brentford captain. Now, you guys were a good team last season. We know that. You competed at the top of the division. Uh, but a great team needs a great leader. Now, there's one man in this dressing room who is a lead at the very highest level. Um, and I believe he's the man to lead us to glory this year. So, Wayne Rooney, uh, congratulations, mate. You are the club captain. Uh, did you want to say a few words? No? Do your talking on the pitch. I like it. Hi guys, it's Mosley Villain, and welcome to episode one of the Brentford leg of our Dean Smith Challenge as we follow in the great man's footsteps. And today we begin our time at the club properly with our first games in the championship against Barnsley and against somebody else whose name escapes me. I forget who it is now. Anyway, that's why well, the name escapes me. Uh, but I thought we'd start here by having a quick look, first of all, at what is expected of the season. If you are just discovering the series um, with, uh, with, the new, with the new club, welcome, first of all. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe as well. Uh, and, well, first of all, let's catch you up on what you've missed. Uh, because if we go and have a quick look here at... What do I want to do? I want to go to our manager profile, don't I? So you can see here, we basically spent the last two seasons at Walsall. We got promoted as champions from League 2 in our first season in charge. Then back that up, being promoted as champions in League 1 as well, which was a surprise to everybody, I think. At, my preferred tactical style is not Route 1. That is outrageous. That is absolutely outrageous. Anyway, um... And Danny Hilton is our enemy. That's another... Oh, he's retired. Well, if he becomes a manager, we will take him down. Anyway, I'm getting distracted here. Um, so we... And we got off with a job over the summer at the Brentford. So here we are. Uh, that's basically you caught up. Uh, we've, we've won back-to-back -back leagues at Warsaw, and we don't like Danny Hilton. If you want to find out more... That early on in the playlist, you can, <laughs> you can go and watch. Um, now, this is what we're expected to do this year. We're expected to reach the playoffs as a minimum in the championship. We're expected to reach the fourth round as a minimum in the FA Cup. That's going to be draw-dependent. And third round in the Carabao Cup, again, uh, draw-dependent. At home to Crawley Town, the first leg, though, or first round, I should say, you'd hope we do okay in that one. Um, now, have a quick look at the season preview here. We can see that we are fifth favourites, 9-1. to one. Uh, to win the league this year. There's some big teams down there. Villa, Swansea, and uh, Forest got relegated last year. And, of course, Preston, Rovers, and uh, Walsall came up uh, last season. Poor old Walsall. Um, the Media 11 Dream Team, we don't have any players in that. It doesn't look like a few Villa boys in there. Uh, of course, that's going to be our next stop. Um, but that's about it. Grealish and McGinn are the key players for Villa. Let's go down and have a look who the other key players are. Uh, Gunnison, now that's our goalkeeper, isn't it? Uh, is a, one of our key players. Um, he does look quite good, to be honest. Um, our other key player is Brian Mbumlo. I'm sure I've pronounced that correctly. And he does look quite decent, actually. Left-sided winger he's going to be for us, I would imagine. And who is uh, the game considering Walsall's key players? I would imagine, would it be Candland and um, Rame, perhaps? Who have they brought in here? Where are we here? Walsall, Walsall, and Mecca. And Mecca and one of the new boys. All right, well, we'll see how they do. Now, one th uh, question that was in the comments uh, from Gary Turpin, and I do agree, is the record low points tally for Walsall, and can they avoid that? Um, so most defeats, no fewest points in a season is eight. I'd back Walsall to get eight points. We can just lose to them twice, and that'll be six. <laughs> that'll be <laughs> more than halfway there. Um, so let's hope that Walsall, I do fear for them a little bit in this division without us, but let's hope that they can at least, well, they should be able to avoid that. It will be a horrible season if that's the case, won't it? Um, so there we go. That is that record. Now let's have a quick look, speaking of records, at um, the club records here at, at Brentford at our new club. The all-time top goal scorer is Jim Towers. Um, most league goals, so 39 goals is the record in a season. 550, uh, 50, 14 games, sorry, is the most of league appearances. So we're not going to be doing any of that anytime soon, are we? Uh, and 38 is uh, from Jack Holiday. Same season in the 30s is the record for goals in a season. If we can get anywhere near that this year, then we'll be going up uh, as champions, I would imagine. If we're going to get a player getting 40-odd goals in the season. Um, most team points is 94. Uh, I mean, we've got 90, over 90 points, I think, in our last two seasons at Walsall. So you never know uh, any other records there. Not particularly that we're that interested in. Um, Pontus Janssen is both the record in. Oh, not quite the record out. 16 million was the record out. Uh, but yeah, Pontus Janssen, as a reminder of the transfer window, did leave the club. Um, we got, what did we get for him? 15 and a half million. You can see we made a massive profit in the transfer window over the, over the, the you know, the summer just gone. Uh, and of course, the big marquee signing was new uh, captain Wayne Rooney. Um, 
who is very, very good mentally, very, very good technically, and we just won't talk about the physical side of his game. Um, all right, well, I think that's pretty much everything as an introduction to the season. Um, let's go and get things underway here against uh, against Barnsley. Um, where are we? Back here eventually. Eventually, we'll get to the pre-game screen, I think. Will we? We should do eventually. Come on, game. There it is. Hey, all right. We are favourites for our first game away to Barnsley. Um, historically, Brentford, not a good record against them. Two defeats and a draw, just the one win. Now, they are a Stuart McCaw coached team. Now, we've come across him before at uh, Bradford City at, uh, with Walsall. Um... So we're familiar with him, we've played him, we've beaten him before. They're an attacking standard playing style. Have a quick look at what we're expecting here now. It's in friendly, so we can't read too much into it. They do look those, they'd like to come through the middle. Uh, we're obviously going to expect this sort of a formation. Positional heat map there again, that would suggest, doesn't it, through the middle. Passing network and key passes are there as well. And this is the team that we're sending out, our first ever Brentford team. This is the formation I think is going to work for us, so our midfielders apparently can't play together, which isn't ideal. But it's going to be, with the injury to um, to Gunnarsson, uh, it's going to be Balakom that uh, is in goal for us today. The left back is going to be Pelinard. Uh, he just looks like a good, solid left back to me, so we'll give him a first uh, crack at the position. Mads Beck uh, goes as one of the centre backs. These partner today will be Rasic. Uh, again, they're just good, solid players. They're not spectacular, but solid. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Roslev will be the right back today. It's Norgard playing as the deep lying playmaker. Uh, your midfield will be Baptiste. Uh, who looks a decent uh, player for us, and also De Silva, who can pretty much, as I said last episode, can pretty much play any position on the field and play it well. So he's going to go as the box-to-box -box midfield and do a little bit of everything for us. Sergi Canos is going to be your right winger. It's going to be Mbumbo. <laughs> oh, he's going to be down the left, and it's going to be uh, Tuazi that starts up top for us today. We do have Wayne Rooney on the bench, um, so he will be coming on most likely at some point. The rest of the bench is Brandon Thomas, it's also uh, Zumburik who can play left side of midfield and also as a mid central midfielder. Janssen uh, will be on the bench as will uh, this guy, Sorque, I guess you'd pronounce it. Uh, Thompson and also, of course, Rea, who we are looking to sell because he's third choice goalkeeper. But with the injury to Gunnarsson, he's on the bench for this one. All right, let's start the Brantford leg of our journey. So we can see the way everybody's lining up there. You can see all our, our squad numbers as well. I won't change the squad numbers. So if you you, know, you can learn players by their numbers. And as long as you're at the club, they will keep the same number. Unless they're on loan, then it doesn't quite work out sometimes. But generally, they will keep the same squad numbers. Uh, Garner, who is our uh, assistant manager. I don't know if I showed you him, but we'll show you him afterwards. Uh, do it for the fans. Uh, first game of the season. Um, just enjoy yourselves. We owe Barnsley. Give the fans their money's worth. Let's just go with that. Some calm, we have faith. First team talk is not always the best, is it? Uh, but there we go. And let's see what we can do. This is exciting, isn't it? This is exciting. It was very disappointing to leave Warsaw last episode. But new episode, new optimism. And here we go. Corner, Kenos knocks it in. It is headed away. And are we going to get caught on the break? Um, we've got two men back. We might need to reconsider the way that we're uh, defending set pieces. We are in the black, aren't we? Yeah. Ball in. It's back post and it's 1-0. Two minutes in. Not the start we wanted to our tenure. Caught on the break by Jacob Brown. We'll tell him to show some passion. And we might have to have a rethink. We don't didn't have enough men back there, did we? We're going to have to change um, something there. I don't know who the corner taker... I'll have to go back and check who the corner taker was. But uh, yeah, that's disappointing, needless to say. We're 1-0 down after two minutes. And that is not the start that we wanted. Um, come on, boys. Come on. We'll give it a get creative here when we can. Um, I am ex I'm not expecting a quick start to the season. Just basically because I need to get to know the players. Um, find out little things like that to, to fix. And we've got another Barnsley highlight here. We need to figure out the best way for us to play as well. Um, so that will all come, all come with time. Bill has taken the lead against Huddersfield. Uh, that's a horrible shot, and it will result in a goal kick. We've moved up a place, which is nice, considering we haven't done anything. Let's demand a little bit more. They're looking anxious and nervous. And we've got another highlight beginning with Barnsley possession. Ball goes back. They keep possession. Diaby brings it forward to Styles. Can we win that back? Can we come on, snap into a tackle, boys? Come on. No, there we go. Loose pass. Picked up by Kenas. He goes it up early there to Tunzwani, who goes past his man. He's in a little bit of space here. Can he find a finish? He cuts in. He cuts in. He does brilliantly well, and the finish wasn't there. 
Oh, that's a real shame. It was a really, really good, wasn't it? Really, really good effort until the final shot, and then he sort of scuffed it. And we've not done too badly. We're essentially dominating the game. We've just been caught out once, and it's cost us. The silver heads it clear. Tuzani is there. He, here he goes again. Here he goes again. He goes past one. Oh, he looks a lively man, doesn't he? And that was a little bit better shot, but still not finding the back of the net. I'm going to say, all in all, that's a little bit unlucky. I think we've been, uh, I think we've been not too bad there. Um, we'll get a little bit more out of Mbumbo. Have I said that name the same twice yet? I don't think I have. A little bit more out of the defence. Um, and it's just one of these things, isn't it? I mean, it will, it will come for us. It's just a little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of needing to be patient. Uh, we do, of course, have Rooney on the bench that we can unleash at some point here. I wonder if we want to raise the tempo, um, see if that will help us at all. Uh, High line maybe wasn't our friend there at times. Uh, and we'll get back out there and hopefully... Here we go. We've got a nice early highlight. Can we get an early goal to start the second half like they did in the first half? We just got caught cold, I think, didn't we? We've seen nothing really from them since. Decent ball out there to Kenos. Back to Norgard. Over to find uh, Roslov in space. Back to Rasic. Rasic to Roslov. Maybe the higher tempo is already showing a little bit of benefit here for us. There's a good ball. He's found Mbundo. Mbundo! Good save from the goalkeeper. And it's going to be a corner. All right, now last time we had a corner early in a half. We can see the goal. Hopefully this time will be a little bit better. And oh, the Silver's there. And he can't find the back of the net. Got a goal kick here. Can we win this, please, boys? We cannot. Uh, no one anywhere near him. Hold him out there, mate. Hold him out there. Can we get a foot in? We can. Oh, he's done really well there, Ross Lev, hasn't he? Down the line to Kenos. Kenos goes early for Twenzani. Can he get a finish this time? Oh! This is good, boys. This is good. We've roared into the second half. Another corner comes in. Oh, it's a block on the line. It was a, a free uh, volley, I think it was. Barnsley get a free kick. Offside flag is up. That looked a little bit unlucky, though. The goal key, the striker sorry, is not having a great day in front of goal. He's getting opportunities, but he's obviously not sticking them away just yet. Um, we're an hour in. We need to make some changes here, don't we? So let's go and do that. Um, all right, I'm thinking. What am I thinking? Um, and, and Bumbo and Twanzani are not having good days. Um, so do we, do we, do we, do we? Okay, so let's bring Rooney on up front. Deep lying forward on support. Try and link in the midfield a little bit more. I do still trust this guy, I think, for now. Um, so let's try that. Let's take it off, be more disciplined perhaps, and... We'll leave it at that for now. Uh, we haven't seen too much from Mbumbo one way or another to know, you know, so I don't I don't want to I don't want to take him off too soon. But equally, um, we're gonna need to do something here soon because he's still not having a good day. So we have Zemburik who can play out there, so let's make that change. Um, and the potential other option here is we start to run out of time, so we're gonna have to stick in a number ten, aren't we? So let's go and do that now as well. Uh, it's going to be Norgard coming off, Thomas coming on. Uh, we'll make that change there. Rooney can drop back in. Thomas, you've got to go up front now. Lead the line for us, please, mate. Uh, Rooney as the Ongonch, the position he was born to play at this stage of his career. And let's go and let's hope that that early uh, you know, stuff up, I guess, isn't going to cost us any uh, sort of a, a loss here. Kenos has the ball there. Cross in. It's too close to the goalkeeper. Yeah, I'd be curious to know what you guys think in the comments. I feel like we've essentially dominated this game. and It was just one mistake early on that's cost us. Now, we're going for it now, so we may find ourselves coming under a little bit more pressure here. Rooney's done well there to win it back. But unfortunately, possession stays with Barnsley. They're pinging it around now, and that was a decent effort. Let's push forward here when we can, please, boys. Look at this. We're dominating this game. Um... All right, we have to go more direct. We'll have to get uh, expressive now. We'll try hitting some early crosses. Um, we'll try passing into space. And we'll have to sort of do the high line, get stuck in. And 
yeah, hope that that works for us. Uh, let's be a little bit more narrow as well and see if we can do something. Rooney with a corner this time. It's decent. Oh, it's penalty. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. It's Brandon Thomas to take it in the 87th minute. Can he tie it up for us? Come on, Brandon. Why isn't Rooney taking the penalty? That's the big question, isn't it? Brandon Thomas, he sticks it away and we've nicked a point. Oh, there we go. We've deserved that. We've deserved that for our effort in the second half. We've been much, much the better team for most of this game. And we finally, Warsaw's 2-2. Oh, they've considered a late goal. Warsaw, you dummies. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can we nick this late on now? Can we nick it late on? It doesn't look like we can. We will have to grudgingly accept a point on the road opening day. But there's a lot of promising signs there, I think. We look a decent enough team. Now, how good are Barnsley? That's going to be the question, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to say, though, that was unlucky, boys. That was unlucky today. Super sub Thomas rescues Brentford, I think, on another day. You know, if uh, Tuzwani had uh, had his goal-scoring boots on, I think I think we win that game. We probably win it quite comfortably. Uh, it's a first goal for 20 matches. Jesus Christ, Thomas, what were you doing last season? Uh, Kenos was quite brilliant, wasn't he? Really, really good performance from him. Um, I don't even know what to say to you. There you go. And we have got uh, somebody looking at Mads back. He will not be leaving this club. Guys, that's uh, that's it for the first game. Wait right there. We'll be back. We're playing Reading at home. Our first game at home as Brentford manager. Okay, welcome back. Now, before we get to Reading, a few things I thought you might like to see. This is our assistant manager, Ben Garner. We picked him up from Stephen Eadie, who's the under-18s assistant manager there. Um, and I think he'll do okay for us for now anyway. Um, you're sort of the best man available. Decent man manager. Uh, decent motivating. He is what he is. He'll, uh, he's a decent coach as well, to be fair to him. So hopefully uh, he'll do a good job. Now, the other thing that's probably useful to check is the squad dynamics um, to start the season. You can see team cohesion is fine. Dressing room atmosphere is okay. Managerial support, again, is good. So that's fine. Uh, hierarchy, um, we can see that there. Rooney and Raya, who surprisingly supports me since I'm trying to sell him. <laughs> but everybody else is sort of indifferent yet, still waiting to, to sort of suss me out. And the, the actual squad itself is relatively well together, which is excellent. Uh, Rooney hopefully will settle himself into the core group as club captain. Now, we have a big game against Reading. We want to make sure we're getting underway with three points here nice and early if we can. Now, historically, we have a good uh, record against this team. Uh, three wins and a draw with uh, zero defeats against Reading. Um, I should just quickly point out, Walsall did manage to get the 2-2 draw against Bristol uh, City away. So that was uh, that's good. That's good. They're off, they're off the mark as well. Um, so let's have a quick look what we're up against here. Phil Parkinson is their manager. Uh, we can see him there. Um, there we go. There he is. A balanced, direct style of play they play. Uh, they did win at home to Bristol Rovers last time out. So although they won, Bristol Rovers, of course, they came up through the playoffs last season. Interesting, both Bristol clubs are in the same division this year as well. Uh, this is the formation we're expecting them to come out with. So it's a bit of a strange one with the wingbacks and wingers. Um, so we probably will expect them to uh, have a lot of attacking play out wide. But equally... Look at that. There's definitely going to be some space down the outside to get at them as well. Uh, there is all their other ins and outs. Key passes tend to be uh, sort of in that final third and tend to be from central areas as well. Uh, now, this is the team that we're sending out. It's more or less the same team. What I don't want to do is sort of make panic changes, um, but we have made a few changes uh, as well. The big one is Mbumbo, whatever his name is. <laughs> I haven't got that right. Uh, Mbumo. And Balmo, anyway, he's uh, picked up a bit of a knock. We don't want to risk players this early on in the season. Let's face it, it's not like you set the world alight first game. So it's Bella Combe in goal. It's uh, the same back four of uh, Panonard, of Sorensen, of uh, Rasic, and uh, Roslev. Norgard, Baptiste, and De Silva are going to switch roles in midfield, though they are still the, the same midfield trio. Kenos continues down the right. Zamburic comes on to play uh, wide left in this one. We're going to give Tuazi another go up top, but he's got to score goals this time or else... Uh, He's going to run out of chances very quickly here. So we can see everybody is lining up more or less as expected. Um, I thought uh, Tuazi looked okay, didn't he? He just didn't have the finished product last time. So hopefully that'll improve this time out. Uh, we'll go say, go give the fans of their money's worth some calm. We have faith. And hopefully, yeah, we actually do give them their money's worth this time. All right. And here we go. Um, yeah, this is this is a big game. I think just to, we we really do need to try and get ourselves underway here. Um, we'll know a little bit more about us after this game. I don't want to judge players off one bad game, but if they have sort of two bad games in a row, then 
um, you do start and judge them, don't you? Cardiff's beating Barnsley. That's probably not a good sign for us, given that you know Barnsley took points off us. We've got a, a highlight here starting with Reading. Can we win this ball back, please, boys? Decent pressure on them. but Oh, we've blocked that, but it's still fallen to a Reading player. And come on, boys. Come on. Get a foot in. Uh, play out wide. We've done our best to win that back with Zamburic. We're putting good pressure on them. The problem is, of course, the nature of a highlight is something tends to happen. Uh, we've let the fullback go there, which isn't ideal. Can we go back, please? We've made them go all the way back to the goalkeeper. We probably just need one to close him down, boys. Um, and here we go. Come on. Can we pressure them into a mistake? Again, guys, one to close the goalkeeper down is fine. Come on. Come on. It's become a long old highlight. Can we nick it? Can we nick it? We can. Tuaz, he's done well. Baptiste has it. Baptiste, does he have a finish on him? He goes through for it. Oh, he's got his goal. The Bill Tuazi. Our first goal for the club. He knew he knew he let us down last game, didn't he? And he hasn't let us down there. It's a really, really good finish. We pressured them into a mistake. And then we pounced on it as well. He won the ball back. Baptiste picked up the loose ball. It really, really well between them, isn't it? To work the space and the... Oh, the goalkeeper's got to have some questions asked of him. But Tuazi with his first goal for the club. Excellent stuff. How close was it to offside? No, he's... he's Well, he's on. He's, he's close enough. And that is 1-0 to Brentford. And let's hope now that we can go on here. We've got a corner here. Can we go and double the lead? Canos knocks it in. Decent to the back post. Head it away. Norgard is there. I realise now I didn't change the thing because I was initially going to start Wayne Rooney. We do seem to have more players back there, though, which is promising. Can we get a foot in here, boys? Let's not concede twice from an attacking corner. Oh, dear, dear, dear. All right, we got away with it. That's the main thing. Concentrate, boys. Concentrate, concentrate. Another Reading throw. Last time a highlight side like this, we scored a goal. Let's put good pressure on them here. Come on. Ball forward. Still with uh, with Reading. We've got a player out here that no one is marking, which is slightly problematic. There he is there. Can we go? We got back pretty quickly. Can we block the cross? We can, but we can't. Straight into the arms of Bellacombe. Or Belcombe, I guess. There's no A in there, is there? And that is highlight to continue. Okay, Rasic with the ball at his feet. He goes as close to the defender there, but we've done okay. Da Silva is the advanced playmaker. He sprays it out wide there to Zumburic. Infield there to Baptiste. Baptiste, good ball for Kenos. Where's the man in the middle? Kenos, can he pull it back? He does. It's there for Ross Slab. Oh, it's right there. It's off the goal line. Goalkeeper was clueless. It's almost gone in off his backside. And in the end, it's cleared away into touch. This has been decent though, hasn't it? This has been very, very decent. Again, the wide players aren't playing particularly well. Um... Yeah, so that's slightly an issue. Uh, we're going to have to be an assertive, don't get complacent out there, boys. I'd like to see more from you, please, Jan Zumburik. Um, everybody else looks focused and motivated, so let's get back out there. Let's give it a demand more and see if we can go and double this lead. Uh, I don't know what it is I'm asking the wingers to do that they're not able to do just now. Let's try exploiting the flanks and see if that helps us at all. You'll see I did go with a higher tempo for this one. Um, we looked okay playing in the higher tempo. And I also took us off being more disciplined because um, we looked a little... Oh, it's a cracking header from Luke Rasic. 2-0. That was powerful, wasn't it? A absolute bullet header into the back of the net. We've doubled our lead. We'll tell him to concentrate. And you'd like to think at 2-0 that that should be... That's a cracking header from Rasic, isn't it? That is towering stuff. Uh, so there we go. Uh, yeah, I was saying, we looked okay um, playing at a higher tempo, and we looked okay sort of when we were to put get ex or be, uh, be expressive on. So I just took be more disciplined off, basically. Let them have a little bit more of a free reign. Barnsley's getting a look at that absolutely smashed by Cardiff, which isn't great um, in terms of the form book. But I think we could, there's excuses we can make about that one. I really do think we were the better team in that game. It just wasn't, just wasn't to be, was it? But if we can hold out for this one, hopefully keep a clean sheet, then I'll say that it's just... Oh, Walsall 2-0 up. Go on, boys! Um, yeah, you know, I'd say we'd just about just about take that. Bit of a missed tackle there. Ball slid through, and that is 2-1. And that wasn't particularly good defending, was it? We'll tell them to show some passion. They are back into the game now. And... 
That was an interesting tackle from Roslov. And yeah, we just got in behind Rasic there. Still celebrating his goal, perhaps. Having seen that, I'm going to say, let's uh, let's defend a little bit more narrowly. They uh, haven't particularly looked to get down the outside of us. This one has been a lot more of an even game. Uh, certainly on terms of the match stats. What we don't want, of course, is an even game on the scoreboard here. We want to... We want to make up for that Barnsley, def uh, not defeat, but drop points. Here we go. We pounce with that. Zumborik has it. Can he pick a pass? He goes back for De Silva. Can De Silva thread a pass? He goes over for Kenos. Kenos has men in the middle. Go on, Kenos. He gets tackled away. Now he has another chance. He's gone to the back post. It's all off the post. We win the corner, but that was a good opportunity to all but put this game to bed. Kenos with a, a corner in. Oh, another header won there by Zumborik. But the goalkeeper this time makes the save. All right. We do have our new striker back from injury. Uh, Panarande. Do we look to bring him on? Um, what is going on down the left side of our midfield? We cannot get anybody out there to play well. What if we try Tuzani? He's right-footed, though. So that doesn't particularly work. Brandon Thomas was right-footed as well, wasn't he? Um, and I'm pretty sure he is as well. All right. Um... All right, well, let's just get Brandon Thomas out there. And he got the goal for us last time. See if he can do something similar this time. Let's give them some praise. We've got some decent match ratings there. See if we can give them some confidence. And I think it might be time to start and close this thing down. Uh, we'll drop off the line a little bit. We'll, uh, actually, no, we won't be compact. Because they're a direct team, aren't they? We want to try and close them down. We'll slow it down. Uh, we'll lower down that tempo. We'll be more disciplined. We'll play for set pieces. And hopefully... We'll see this thing out. Let's go defensive. And what do we got there? About 90 seconds to play. Let's hope we can just play it out and keep possession here. Here we go with Kenos. What's he going to do? There for De Silva. De Silva looks for Brandon Thomas. Getting, well, that one side says Brandon, not Thomas. Anyway, he gets forward. Tries to cross it in. We've lost possession there. And Reading come away with it. It's Swift. They've got men forward. Loaders in again here and a big save by Belcombe. And I think he may have been offside in any case. But let that be a wake-up call, please, boys. Just keep possession. Maybe need to go very defensive to go to the corner post. 30-odd seconds to play. It's just some excellent time wasting by Rasic. Is his header going to prove to be the winning goal today? Roslev has it in there. I thought he was going to trip over it. Batiste. This is good. Just keep possession, boys. That's all you got to do. Just keep possession. That's horrible. What part of keep possession was that, De Silva? Come on, mate. Maybe we need to get Rooney in there just to put his foot on the ball. But this, yeah, we're over. We're over time. Blow it up, ref. Blow it up. Blow it up. Hack it clear. Blow it up, ref. In your own time. Twanzuni has it. He just humps it for the touch. And there we go. It's going to be a Reading line out uh, just outside their own 22. And there we go. We do get our first win as Brentford manager. Again, I think we just about deserved it. But not the most convincing, was it? Not the most convincing. But we will say, well done, boys. That's a confidence boost up. So there we go. Brentford edge out opponents in close encounter. Sorensen close to triggering a cause. That's fine. He's going to play a lot of games this year, so we're not going to pretend he's not. Um, I think he's a very, very good central defender at this level. But there we go. That is it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We are currently sitting there in six. Look at Warsaw. Go on, boys. Um, oh, that's amazing. They've, they've got uh, four points from their first two games, the same as us. And, of course, our next club, Aston Villa, uh, have just got the two draws. Uh, so we'll be back next time for... Oh, uh, we actually, we played Villa next in the league. Look at that. But we'll be back. I think we'll round up the month. Um, probably with Preston, who, of course, we came up with. They were battling with Walsall for the uh, Premier for the League One title, sorry, last season. So I think we'll come back for Preston away and Huddersfield at home. Huddersfield, I believe, were they relegated from the Premier League? They weren't, were they? They, was, they were always down. Um, so that will be next episode, guys. If you have enjoyed this, as I said, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Let me know how you think those games went. I think there's promising signs early on in our, in our tenure, but we do need to get better, don't we? Take care.